Why do psychologists love exposure work and therapy so much? Nerdy psychology edition. For example, say I have a hypothetical, totally hypothetical, fear of spiders. There's nothing else for it. If I want to get over it, I'm going to have to hang out with some spiders. Now, first things first, I'm going to hold out my hand and someone's going to put a spider in it. And do you know the first thing I'm going to do? Blech. Do you see what I did? I closed my eyes. Avoidance. Avoidance is a key part of why people maintain their fears over things because they look away psychologically and physically. After a while though, if I just keep at it, if I do nothing but survive the moment, I might just open my eyes and I might start looking at the spider and go, oh, it's gross. Okay, but I'm looking at it and it's not doing the thing that I was worried that it was going to do. I don't know what I was worried about. It's going to jump in my face, get in my hair. Who knows? I hadn't thought about it, I was too busy avoiding. So now I'm paying attention to it. And I go, okay, it's not so bad. Now I'm looking at it properly, I'm like, okay, it's, it's kind of cute. That might be pushing it a little bit, right? And after a while, I stop being anxious. Now, I might not be perfectly chilled, but I'm no longer particularly anxious and I'm all right with the situation. That's one exposure done. Now, if I just do that once, I'm going to say, well, that was just Steve the spider. And Steve the spider was a special spider. So, of course, he was the exception. So I'm going to have to get another spider, Kevin the spider. And I'm going to have to do it again. And the more I do it, the less anxious I am to start off with. And the easier and easier it gets. This is what we call a prediction error, right? I worried something bad was going to happen and it didn't happen. Brains have to pay attention to prediction errors because now a rule I've had for life, i.e. spiders are going to jump my face and kill me off, is not true. I have to update it. And that's how exposure therapy works. And here's the really interesting thing about exposure therapy. Not only do I stop being afraid of it, I might form a totally different relationship with it. And let me paint you the picture with a dog phobia. A lot of people who can get over dog phobias, not only do they stop being afraid of dogs, they now adore dogs. They're fluffy, they're cute, they're great, you can play with them. They are no longer just not afraid, now they actively engage with the thing that they feared. That is why exposure therapy is so effective. Avoidance is a big maintainer of people's fears. So exposure therapy is this idea where you got to look your worst fears in the face head on, repeat it several times and keep going with that and see what happens. Just something to think about. Okay, bye.